Hi friends, it's Haya Grossberg again, here to talk with you a little bit more about self-care. And I just wanted to mention one of my biggest obstacles to self-care, and I'd like to hear what yours are. So I'm doing a little series here on self-care leading up to the second module of the MedFree Solution Certificate course, which is a course to help you learn how to consult with people who are coming off psychiatric drugs. You can also take it just to learn about um, things that help in coming off psychiatric drugs. So my biggest challenge with self-care that I can think of right now, which I just thought of as I was on a walk outside, which is one of my major self-care practices that I really need to do at least every other day or my mind starts to get kind of stuck in my head. Um, but my, my biggest challenge with self-care is that I often feel like I've never done enough or I've never done things good enough. And no matter how much I do, I can almost never get to a place where I feel like, like congratulating myself or like I've arrived anywhere. Um, because I'm always on to the next thing and always kind of pressuring myself to do more. So a self care practice I'd like to encourage you and me to do is to make lists of things you've done, not just things you have to do and to definitely when you do the to do list to check things off cross things out when you've done them and to take time each day to acknowledge yourself for what you have done. Because something that I notice sometimes is the more I do, the less I acknowledge what I've done. So no matter how much I've accomplished, I can still feel like I've done nothing because I don't actually take the time to think about what I have done. It's like I'm just on to more and more and more. So for example, this past year, in the past few months, I've um, completed a book that I had spent seven years writing. I launched my first online course. I published a second ebook, um, and now I'm on to the second module of my online course. And I still don't feel that I have done enough, done things good enough, and I'm constantly pressuring myself. So, um, so it's really good to do this module on self care because it's helping me as well to really remind myself of self-care being really the key ingredient in life and to bring it into all of my daily practices. So even if you have all these practices of self-care, you still you actually need to remind yourself that you're doing them for self-care, um, not just to check them off your list, but actually to be there and be present, to be with yourself, to honor yourself, to love yourself, and to give something to yourself in those moments of self-care. So let me know your challenges with self-care. And if you would like to join us for the second module, it's still on sale for half off this week. And I will post the link below. Hope to see you and to hear more about your self-care practices and challenges.